dude. He has literally a friggin' billion yen. What the f I still haven't gotten my gun repaired or anything. Hey, Majima. Damn it, this ain't what I needed. You know, I heard about this place with super cute girls. I really want to check it out. That's so? If you come by my club, I'll make sure you have a real good time. I told you, I can't depend on anyone else. I have to do it things on my own, even picking the club to party at. Well, if you ain't my customer, my king, then you're just another peasant, and there's no reason for me to hold back. I never asked you to. Let's do this. Oh! Oh, oh Jesus. Wait, he's got a purple health bar now? Oh god, he actually is stronger. When will they stop getting stronger? I thought his story <laughs> was already done. This has got to be the last dialogue. I'm guessing it will just repeat at this point. There's no way he can get stronger. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Nope. Get smacked. What? <laughs> what a jackass. Oh, no! Don't break my neck! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, well now I know what happens when he grabs you. I wonder if I could compact him with the bike. Oh, Jesus. I got purse gold, by the way. He's actually a silver. It's not worth the time. Oh. Oh, are you serious? That's so bullshit. The friggin' sign bounced off the wall and hit me and damaged me. Why does this game have physics damage on items? That, may, that makes no sense. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bakoge. Don't punk me like that. That's disrespectful. Wait, he's friggin' Super Saiyan in his green health bar? Not cool. Get poked. Oh, jeez. Ah, come on, stop draining my heat, you fucking asshole. Dude, it's no fair when he dodge cancels out of the ending parts of his own animation. Oh, you can compact him. That's good shit. You could probably grab that sign and compact him some more. Oh yes, get compacted. Kicking the nuts. Very, very awesome. It's actually unbelievable. Crap, you beat me again. It ain't gonna change no matter how many times you try. I'll let you go for now, but next time, next time I'll show you. That's gotta be the end of his plowing. Ah, uh, I don't get it. What's this? A lover spat in public. Oh god, these Abiso socks are actually horrible. So I'll have the uh, Traveler's Amulet. I just got a bunch of armor too. So let's see, steel mail is 12, 15, 10. This is 14, 17, 11. 
That is some good shit. Holy hell. Oh, I didn't know that that had a healing property. Whatever. I think that's all the good accessories. What's this? Battle meal, much worse. Okay. Oh, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Oh, don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? But, but. What's all the ruckus about? The kids are being awful loud in front of the shock. That's bad for business. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. So spill it. What's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. Some picture you drew out of scare. Where's? Has yeah, that hooked up? Worked up? What the hell? It's not a drawing. It's a crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle? Yeah, it's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. How about that? That's what's hip and happening these days. It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are, but the puzzle Kokun made is too hard. I'm over it. Kokun? Oh, that would be me. I'm Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hello, nice to meet you. So you two make puzzles and get each other to solve them. You must really like these things. Oh, yes, that's true, but... Hmm? Oh, blah, I'm over it. I don't want no work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made this for me, but can I give up? No, absolutely not. Huh? Why? But because... You just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. Ah, you're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Kokun. I don't want to do it. Oh, no, you have to, please. I said I don't want to anymore. Sort of intrude. Have fun solving puzzles and fighting about it or whatever. Just keep it down, will ya? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san, I have a few f huge favor to ask. Can I have a moment? Okay, here's my guess. I'm guessing he's proposing to her, and that's the answer to this crossword puzzle. But it's too hard for her to get, and that's why he wants it. Non yote. Let's see it. Am I right? Or is it dumber than this? Whoa, so when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your <laughs> Giga brain. I knew it. That's some real creative shit. Shh, Majima-san, keep your voice down. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just trying to say, it's real clever. Romantic, too, I guess. Oh, thank you. But I didn't count on being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ow, that's a tough one. Yes, that's where you come in. Can you help her solve the puzzle? Huh? Help her solve it? Why do I gotta do that? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku-san with the puzzle so she can get my proposal? Just make another puzzle, dude. Oh, sure, fine. <laughs> Alright. So if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. Okay. So, is he gonna give me the answers? No. What if it's too hard for me? Don't be so quick to give up. When you solve it, I'll treat you the best crab they've got. I'd like that, actually, but there's no way I can solve it by myself. It'll be okay. Majima San here is an expert. He can help you with it. Right, Majima San? Like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. Oh, really? That'd be so helpful. kokun has been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. Huh? Oh, uh, let's get this puzzle started. Let's solve one down. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes. An off didn't serve with the gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank is where the answer goes. Okay, so he's into puzzles and she's not, because that's obvious. 
It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served western style? Oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, Jizuku chan Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish that goes well with gravy? I can't picture it. Do they seriously not eat mashed potatoes in Japan? Yeah. Ain't it mashed? Oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy and mushy potatoes you get with steak. She's had it before. Majima-san, you're fabulous. Yep, yep, Majima-san, you're on the ball. Yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only places that serve mush potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? This is what you're hoping for? Yes, you're doing great. I think it's safe to fill in the squares then. Shizuku-chan from square one down, mashed. She's doing it with a pen too. What a badass. A loose cannon. Uh. Awesome. Alright, next clue. The next clue is, what is the most popular snack food served at movie theaters? I mean, it's obviously popcorn, right? Have to agree. If you shared some the last time you saw a flick, do you remember what it was? I do remember him buying some stuff at the counter, but what was it? They asked him what size he wanted and then... Oh, it comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grids to be filled this time. A seven-letter snack food that's most popular in movie theaters. It's obviously popcorn. What the hell? How does she not know this? <laughs> Why is this puzzle so easy? Oh man, I feel bad for this dude. He, he should break up with her. She's too dumb. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. Alright, the next clue is a phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a cell phone. Oh, this is why I didn't get this a thing before. I had to look at the one dude before I got this side quest. I actually saw a phone like that before, but it's a long story. It's an eight letters long word. Did I see that bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a blank phone, so this eight-letter word to fill the blank is... Oh no. I mean, he was carrying it around his shoulder, so it's gotta be a shoulder phone. Yeah. Shoulder? Are you sure? Yes, yes, it has one strap and you sling it over your shoulder. Oh, I didn't know that. Majima-san, you're so smart. Right on the money, huh? Yes, Majima-san, you know your stuff. Get that one on, down on the paper, Shizuku-chan. Shoulder. I wrote it down. Okay, the next one's the last one. Okay, this term is used to categorize the faces of men. A man with a typically plain features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. Yeah, this is outside my field of expertise. If there's a Japanese viewer, they can now call me the dumb one. Okay, there's room for eight letters. Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face that's very rugged and foreign, then this would be softer. <laughs> I only... I remember seeing, like, this, like, ultra-racist meme image. That's, like, the only thing I've seen even slightly in this vein. I don't want to say what it said. It's obviously it shit's fucked, but... It was, like, Chinese versus, like, pure Japanese face. It's like the Chinese people were like the browner ones or whatever. It was very wacky. Let's see. So the opposite of a sauce face are... It's got to be eight letters. Oh my god. So a term used, it's two words... 
followed by face. Opposite is sauce face. So soy sauce face is out. It could be salt free face. It could also be miso soup face. What sounds? This is literally Japanese. So it's it doesn't even matter if it sounds better if it's one or the other because it's going to sound different in Japanese, right? Okay, I'm guessing salt free because that sounds lamer. Yeah. Salt free. Now that makes sense. Salt free would definitely be plain. I guess it would be related to seasoning. Uh, what? When I fry an egg, I just use a dash of salt. It's not quite salt free, but that's close enough. How about you, Majima san? I douse my eggs in salt. Sauce. So salt free sounds like the total opposite. Two words, eight letters. This one here is a grand slam. Wait, but. Shizuku chan, you gotta write that down. Salt free, okay? Um, salt free. No, that's wrong! Huh? That's not right. Salt is a seasoning, but you're saying salt free? And how are salt and sauce opposites? The logic train left the station, you guys weren't on it. Uh oh, so the answer isn't salt free? It's soy sauce! The opposite of a sauce face is a soy sauce face. Oh my gosh, you're a girl, you should know this. Are you serious? Okay. Soy sauce face and sauce face, huh? Kids these days. How's soy sauce the opposite of sauce? That makes no sense. I wrote it down. Oh, let's see. That's it for the clues? Yay, all done. It's not finished yet. There's one thing. There's one last thing you gotta do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circle letters to form a word. Alright, let's see. It says, let's blank. I'm guessing... The blank is the word you get from the letters circled in the puzzle, so it's five letters. Let's... Bang. So M, A, popcorn, it's R, R, and from the soy sauce, it's the letter Y. Let's marry. Kokon, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I can never work up the courage. That's why I had to trick you into saying the word. Yeah. Kokon. So, uh, um, what you read there now is how I feel about you. Suzuki-chan, do you, do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Kokon, I want you to look me in the eyes and say it. Sorry. Suzuki-chan, will you marry me? Yes. Really? You will? Sweet. Yes. How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of putting me through this, you idiot. Uh... I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd have so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Kosaku and Shizuku. Majima saying, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please take this. Got five tourmalines. Majima saying, you really know your way around crossword puzzles. You breeze right through it. You really new at these? Yep, first time. It was pretty fun, though. You gotta put together another one of these for me sometime. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle days are over. From now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. Kokun. <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Kokun, but good for you. Well, we'll be going now. Thank you, Majima san. Thank you so much. We're going to be so happy together, Heart. Yep, no doubt. Man, could you imagine if she was like a hostess now? Okay. But he's right. If you want to say something, you got to say it in your own words. Your own words are what gets you through life's toughest spots, even when you got to cross words. <laughs> High five, brain. Time to be moving along. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to make extra money. We're in, we're in hard times lately. So let me join your cabaret club. Okay, how much money do I got? Got plenty. Okay, so this is another uh, pawn shop item. That's wacky. 
Anyways, while I was wandering around grinding, I also saw this guy. So that's, that looks like an interesting side quest to me. Uh, hey, you there. Hmm? Huh? Well, listen, can I get you to come over here? What's with this weirdo? Rise of the Dragon? <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Whew, I'm saved. So what's your problem? What do you want? What the hell? You, where the hell are your pants? That's why I called you over. Do me a favor. Can I borrow your pants? Huh? Your pants. You get the pair you got on now. As you can see, I had my bottom, my Bontan pats taken. The fuck's Bontan? Come on, pal. I'm in trouble here. Nuts to that. I give you my pants, and I'm the one staying around my skivvies. You take me for a fool? Ah, uh, don't be that way. No res self respecting young fellow with a whole future ahead of him can go in town with his underwear exposed, right? Did you hear me the first time? I give you my pants, and I'm the one swaying in the breeze here. <laughs> what a waste of time. My fault for Karen. Hey, hold up. Leave me your pants. Huh, you want them so bad? You can try to rip them off me. Fine, screw it. I'll put your underwear on display for the whole world to see when I jack those pants. <laughs> Hell yes. Pantsless man. Come on, man. That's pathetic. Get up. Are you serious? I want to see if there's a bar heat move. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, really. I was way out of line. For fuck's sake, what's with you, man? Explain it from the top. I... I'm Toru, and I go to Soton North High. Just before he came by, I got mugged by the Bontan Hunter. Bontan Hunter? The hell's that? Oh, uh, well, to put it simply, Bontan pants are like school uniform pants, but they got high waist and are super puffy around the thighs. The, uh, cool kids wear them. No, I know what a Bontan is. So the Bontan Hunter attacks guys wearing Bontan and acting bigger than their britches. He beats them up and takes their Bontan as a trophy. So the gist of it is, this guy kicked your ass and left you with your tidy whities on display. Pretty much. There's nothing I could have done about it. Though, the Bontan Hunter's this really weird guy. Weird like how? There's something messed up about him. Big guy, but likes to jump people from behind and pummel him. And on his back. His back? Oh great, what's the tat? No, he's got a tiny student backpack. A student backpack? Like from elementary school? See what I mean? He's just messed up in the head. You try getting jumped with someone by someone that loopy. It's just flat out scary, man. He's been going at it every day too. The way things are going, there's gonna be more victims going pantsless around here. Well now I'm one story richer and a shit ton of the time poorer. The Saul's got nothing to do with me. Whoa whoa, hold on now. Please, you can't leave me here like this. Can you get my pants back for me? They say he shows up near Mago Taco a lot. The bastard's tough, but I bet you could take him. My bot hand's as good as back with you on the hunt for the hunter, please. Can't think of any good reason why I want to help your sorry ass. Forget your army. Oh, but... But this backpack totem guy, gotta admit, it's kind of intriguing. He does his hunting near Magu Taco, huh? Oh, no, he's just out in the open. Yeah. Now, where the fuck's Magu Taco? Oh, Magu Taco. Oh, I should have known. Taco's like fucking octopus in Japanese. So it's the Taco Yaki saw. Stall. Okay, that's not too far away. You're not getting my casual uh, nerds. Ho ho ho. Only Mr. Shakedown can fight me. That's because he's bringing a billion yen onto the line. Oh, hey, oh my way. Nice bond tan you got there. Huh? I'll be taking those bond tan. You talking to me? 
Maybe you need glasses, cause these pants ain't Bontan. This here's what you'd call a tuxedo. Stop talking like I care. Just drop your pants. You're the Bontan hunter I heard about, huh? Got the school backpack and everything. Wanna tell me what your deal is? You don't wanna take them off, I'll help you do it. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Peeling's better than stealing. Not exactly the reasonable type, eh? You made your choice. I'm gonna have fun ripping those pants off ya. Oh, cool. All right, bring it on. Oh, you're actually a chump. Oh, did damage me. Okay. You're wasting my time. And stop this cuck shit. Actually fight, punk. Oh, <laughs> you got into the Dempsey roll again. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Uh oh. You know, usually the elementary school backpacks like red, Japanese stuff. Oh, he's kind of good at fighting, actually. Never mind. He had 16 million on him? Well, what the hell? I lost this one-eyed chump? Gotta hand it to you. You ain't half bad. Well, what's up with the get-up, huh? Oh my gosh, it's Ryuji-kun, and he's down. Whoa, you're right. Hmm? We're sorry. Please leave him alone. Please. Please let him go. Ryuji-kun was doing this for us. Oh, for crying out loud, what now? <laughs> huh. He's got some nerve, falling asleep after all that. But you're telling me a brute this size is still in elementary school? Yep, he's a classmate of ours. He's always been like this, right? Yeah, a school backpack never ever looked right on him. So you've got a 6th grade Hulk ripping the Bontan off a high school jerk's twice his age? Those guys must be double sorry when they gotta explain it. But he said he's hunting down Bontan for you guys. Did you explain what that's all about? He's probably getting revenge for us on the delinquent kids of Soden North High. They're really scummy. They beat up kids our age, take our money, and threaten us so we don't tell the grown-ups. We hate them. So you're saying Ryuji-kun took it upon himself to take your fight to them? Yeah, but we don't deserve what Ryuji-kun did for us. Why is that? Because we shunned Ryuji-kun for a long time. But even then, he went and did this for us. Okay, back it up. What made you guys shun him? I mean, this kid's downright intimidating. I'll give you that one. It's his dad. He's a Yakuza. Yakuza, huh? Alright. When we were little, we all played together. But when our parents found out about Ryuji-kun's dad, they said we couldn't play with him anymore. Now Ryuji Kun's all by himself at school. Even the teachers are all careful and polite around him, like they're scared. So he's the son of a Yakuza. There's gotta be plenty of those around here. Why is it such a big deal? Because he's an irregular Yakuza. He's like some big shot in the Omi Alliance. That's why everyone's afraid of him. I'm starting to see the big picture now. After all we did to ignore him, he went out looking to even the score for us. We don't deserve anything he's done for us. We suck. Hey, what you blabbing to this guy for? Ryuji-kun. You're awake? Huh. I ain't doing this for you. Huh? I just can't stand those sort of north punk asses walking around like they own the place. Nuh-uh, you're lying, Ryuji-kun. I saw you get all pissed off when you heard those jerks were picking on some of the girls in our class. Hey, shut up! I said that ain't why. Ryuji-kun, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We won't ignore you anymore. Please, can you forgive us for the way we treated you? I told you that ain't got nothing to do with it. I seriously can't stand those pussies. They made it to high school, but there's not a one of them that can actually fight. Bunch of losers. Except for you, one-eyed guy. You beat me up like I'm just some punk kid. What do you mean? Other than being built like a bulldozer, you are just a punk kid, you know? Yeah, but dude, you're as tough as my old man. You sure you're still in high school? You're still going on about that? I told you, this ain't no Bontan. I don't give two shits about it. I decide I'm gonna be a bigger man than my dad. Ain't no way I can accept losing to some stranger off the streets. 
<laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. I ain't forgetting your face, bro. Next time I see ya, I'm taking your Bontan. Screw any other Bontan. I won't rest until I rip those pants off your ass. Hey, don't shout some crazy shit that turns heads. Whatever, I ain't got time for kitty games. I'm out. So you kids got this? Yes, we'll make sure it'll be okay. Oh, wait. This pair of Bontan pants that Ryuji-kun had. What'll we do with them? Who cares? Chuck them. The guy wearing them was an ass. Okay. Awesome. So that kid's gonna grow up to be Mr. Shakedown. Clearly what must have happened is his father just left him in the Yakuza training gear for too long. That's why I got all big. I wonder if he appears in a different game as Mr. Shakedown. Actually, I'm pretty sure the, this is the first game that has the Mr. Shakedown system. Hmm. Which, by the way, don't see him. Alright, what are you going to give me for your pants? Oh, man, that's what Bontan pants look like. So wacky. Was the guy near Makutako like I said? Yeah, the punk tried to jump me for my pants too. I ended up being asked to get those pants back to you. Huh? You ain't even wearing Bontan, but he jumped you anyway? Forget it. Not a story worth repeating anyway. See ya. Well, thanks for your help. I gotta go too. Gonna round up some buddies and find that punk. We all got accounts to settle. What? Come on now, I can't take this lying down. My pride's been wounded. If I round up all my buddies in town, even that guy won't stand a chance. I got a beating to lay on that amped up punk. Gotta run. Hey! Wait a second, is this quest not over? That kid's in trouble now. With all the punks in town descending on him, even he's gonna be in the deep. Ain't gonna be pretty, that's for sure. Ah uh, hell, better go and see what's going on in Mago Taco. Yeah, why not? Can't believe it. He should explain that he's in elementary school. He's gonna grow up to be a Mr. Shakedown and torment them for the rest of their lives if they try to beat him up. Huh? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> that Bontan hunter kid should be around here. Might already be too late to help him, though. What the? What's going on here? You did this by yourself? Huh. <laughs> Just a bunch of mooks. Doesn't matter how big a swarm they make, they're still worthless. Man, what a waste of time. I gotta get home. Got math drills for homework. C hey, what's your name? Ryuji Goda. He's a monster. A real monster. <laughs> There's a dragon in the making. The way you're going, our paths might cross again, Ryuji Goda. Wait, does he reappear in another game? Is he like the friggin' air quest and the other, uh, for Kiryu? Oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I might as well talk about this, too. I've been doing a lot of dragon and tiger grinding. Okay, got... Celestial Steed, Dragon Slayer, Morning Tempest. What the hell? Uh, I guess I'll. Hold up. What the hell is this shit? Okay. So I got the batteries for this thing, but I need one more part for the stun gun. Extremely sturdy. So it's actually weaker than normal wooden katana, but I'm guessing it's got like near infinite durability or something. Okay, so these are all just uh, katanas. I mean, the Sakura Storm kind of sucks, but maybe these other ones are less bad. 
Okay, I think that's all I've got. Water Godstone. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, I haven't quite yet gotten every single thing for it. Oh, cool. Oh. Just been grinding my way up all these things. <laughs> I can make them use shoes. That's hilarious. Okay, reduces time taken for equipment searches. Improves the quality of the items brought back. That's pretty good. It's probably got... It's got okay stats as well. Kelly sticks consist of two short sticks. They're usually made from a wood called rattan. Have you ever heard the word Kali before, Machmasan? Are they going to be the god of destruction, Kali? No, enlighten me. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. The weapon spread through the United States, and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicalities made them popular around the world. A weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? But you th really think they're world famous? Yes, it is easy for simple weapons such as these to take root. Well, maybe they're just taken off here in Japan, then. Only thing I've seen that uses two sticks are the taiko drums. Haha. <laughs> Do not underestimate their potential to oh. cause harm. Sure, let's get the show on the road, then. Awesome. Bring it on, Fehu. Okay, they are just sticks. Well, that's pretty badass. <laughs> Are you serious? The fuck was that? Okay, if I get that move set, these fucking sticks are actually god tier. That's insane. That's nuts, what the fuck? <laughs> Sit down, Fehu. <laughs> well fine, Majmasan. Let's return to the store. Hi. Excellent fight. I attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks, but I ended up being overpowered. You're really getting up in my face. Is that the right way to use those things? I believe they are best used to press the attack rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you can even stun opponents, making them ideal against swift foes. Uh-huh, got it. Awesome. Of course not. Ain't a soul alive doesn't recognize those. Pretty easy to look like a badass swinging those around. Indeed, I'm also a fan of the nunchaku. I work on crafting new variations every day. Pretty ballsy to try to improve the classics. I've been reading a historical novel. I'm attempting to combine a weapon that appears in it with the nunchaku. Perhaps you will encounter it in due time. Ah, oh, come on, you leave me hanging? Or I guess I could always beat the details out of you. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. Let's not use heat moves. That'd be cheating. Okay, I can instantly tell this is going to be a lot easier. What the hell was that? Oh, he's got more of an HP bar. Oh, no. You beat me. Let's get back to the store. Well fought. Unleashed my full fury, but she still defeated me handily. Any parting advice from the nunchuck master? 
If wielded properly, the nunchaku can slip past the enemy's defenses. The trick is to hook it around them. It also enhances your fighting spirits as you rain down blows on opponents and deliver powerful finishing oh. moves. Okay. Do I have the ability to make, like, really good Cali sticks? Okay, reasonably well. Oh, man, I got robbed. Okay, get into the box. Baseball shirt. 